Okay, um, hi everybody, um, so, I might gonna do this video, a little, I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a video of what's been going on, if you guys don't know this, I recently just spent a week up at camp right now, but today I actually got some pretty decent new stuff for the collection, specifically for the Scooby-Doo stuff, but, well first, I do want to give you guys a bit of an update, so basically, um, so, so September 6th is going to be my second anniversary of my channel, and I've been getting some few comments on what to do. Um, someone commented that I should do a fast food burger, where I try out secret menus and ranking them. Um, someone suggested I do old toys. So, I just want to say thank you guys for the good ideas. If you guys have good ideas in the comments section, let me know, because I really do want to do something. For the second anniversary of my channel. It's on. It's going to be on the 6th. I might not do a video. But I might just do a video for the anniversary of my sixth an For my second anniversary of my channel. Right now. But right now I really do want to show you guys. What I did pick up and what. For first of all. I just do want to say. I did try to. So basically, I did went to Walmart a couple of times, trying to find them figures, the ones I'm trying to look for. But, we did, however, I don't know if I didn't update you guys on the original vlog, but I did try to find a few items. Uh, basically, the first, I do want to show you guys what I was able to pick up. So, the first thing we got... So basically, we got a lot of Scooby Doo items, and we do have some couple of Bendy items. Um, usually, a bunch of the ben the items, the Bendy items, are from Jack Civic. So basically, I checked one in the Walmart, and I was trying. We found the figures, but they only have Series One and Series Two together. We were lucky with one out of the three figures. I will the figures. But, we did have, however, we didn't find the Twisted Alice or the Ink Demon figure. Yeah, I am still on the hunt for those figures, by the way, and that's probably going to be my goal. But, I did end up getting a couple of Scooby-Doo items. So, let's first start off. We have three Bendy items, in it, and the rest are all Scooby-Doo. Um, I did with the Spirit Halloween. I did pick up a few Scooby-Doo items from Spirit Halloween, because they have a big... I was thinking of finding a Shaggy costume. I was thinking of buying a Shaggy costume for Halloween this year, and I might dress up in one of the videos. I might even react. To, I might do some stuff with the Shaggy costume. I, but I didn't buy one. But I was gonna plan to buy a Shaggy costume eventually. So let's first start off with the Bendy stuff. So I have three Bendy. I. I want to show you this. So the first thing we got is the Audrey figure. So, basically, I'm not opening her up. I'm not opening her up in today's week. So, today we're not going to open up... I'm not going to open up Audrey, but this was one of the figures I was after. Um, if you see on the back of the box, it has everything... The only one I'm missing is the Ink Demon and the Twisted Alice from Series 2. If I find him before Twisted Alice, I'll do a Series 1 video. But either way, I will do a video. I will. I'm not gonna unbox her now. I'm probably gonna be unbox her when I get the rest of the fi figures. So it's pr that's pretty much it. The other things I have are the plushies. So I did pick up a few plushies. I picked up a Boris the Wolf plushie and a Betty plushie. Yeah, if you guys don't know this, um, these are the, I assume these are the new wave of plushies that people were getting. Um, and I just do want to point out, uh, I have the full set of plushies. I have, I have Alice Angel to join the mix. If you guys are wondering why Alice Angel is different from Benny and Boris, it's because these two are actually from the new drop of plushies. I do know one thing is that the felt is a lot different, like the, like the touch of these plushies are a lot different. She's a lot more softer. He is a little. Well, I think the. I'm just saying that I think the felt is a lot different though. But either way, I think it's kind of cool. Um. So yeah, so I have possibly the whole gang of plushies, and this is not the first time I have plushies in my Bendy collection. Um, I'll show you something. 
So basically, I actually have a plushie right here. Um, this is a uh, Sammy Lawrence. Um, this is not the Sammy Lawrence that is um, from Jack Specific. This is from Fat Mojo. I don't know if they're gonna do a Fat a Sammy Lawrence plushie from Jack Specific. So, and this is and also this is not the original Sammy Lawrence plushie. The original Sammy Lawrence is yellow and black. I might pick him up too. But yeah, and same thing with the Alice Angel. It's not technically the one from this drop. The one they did drop was Benty, Force, and Edgar, which was kind of weird because Edgar is part of the Butcher Gang. I really think they could have just released the Butcher Gang as a wave of plushie, and they could have kept uh, Alice Angel and Benny Force together. But who knows? And I am i don't know. If you guys want me to pick up the two Heavenly Twist plushies and the Edgar plushie, let me know because I might do that. But... But also, also, I might, you know what, I might do even do a bit of a video. So here's the plan. I might do a video, I'll tell you what. I might do a review on these three plushies in general. If you guys want me to, I could do a video on these plushies. If this plush, if this vlog gets five likes, I will do this video. I will take a look at each of these plushies. And if you guys are wondering how much I got for these two plushies, I actually got them for four dollars. The original prices are ten dollars. Some, because there was a Walmart I went to that had these stuff on the new Benny stuff on Clarence. The figures were sold out, but the plushies were still available. So I bought Bendy and Boris. They did have the toys. They did have the Heavenly Toys Alice with them. But I really think they could have just made a Bendy one, the black and white Alice, and just to go with these two fake, these two plushies. But still, if you guys want me to. If you guys want me to unbox, if you guys want me to do a review on these three plushies, I might do that actually. So if you guys, if remember, if this video gets five likes, I will do a plush video. But yeah, these are pretty good plushies. I don't know where I'm gonna put all three of these plushies, but who knows? So next we have some Scooby stuff. Um, I went to Spirit Halloween, like I mentioned before, and I did pick out a couple of stuff. I did also find. My mom found some nice stuff from Crackle Barrel as well. So, let's first start off by showing you guys the... Well, let's first start off with some of the smaller stuff. So, the first thing we got here is a... Uh, so, let's first start with the smaller stuff. So, the first thing we have here is a uh, sticker book. Uh, basically, the sticker book was about fifteen dollars. Uh, basically, each of the figures. So yeah, so it has this little design here. They have Space Coop, Dracula, Gr Ghost, Green Ghost, Zombie, and the Creeper. And we have the logo right here. I did take a look inside the sticker book. It's pretty cool though. You get three of the same pages though. You get the whole gang and in the mystery machine. Uh, basically, next figure you get is some villains. You can see we have some. They do glow in the dark though. I might just do a video showing you guys the glow in the dark items. But we have the creepy keeper, we got Dracula, we got the caveman, we got the witch doctor. And we got Z like wow, Rutro. We got the Ralph, and we have the gang gang confused. Next up we got is uh, next up we got some Shaggy and Scooby eating food, which I have to admit this is pretty cool that they actually did they did different versions of the Scooby Snacks. And you have the gang and Shaggy and Scooby in the background eating food. So the next uh, the next sticker page we have is we got Zoinks, my favorite sticker. And we got a, the Creeper's face. We got the zombie. We got the ghost clown. We got Frank Frankenstein's monster. And we have the Rut Row sign and the Zoinks. And then we got more of the gang here, and we have the mystery machine. We also have we have Sea Demon, Captain Keller's Ghost, the Fan Pub Tier, and the Green Ghost. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think these are the same. Now I think these are all the same characters, though. But I think it's the same thing. I do like the stickers here. I do have the. I don't know. I didn't mention they also have a zombie face here. But yeah, I do like the villain. I do like the villain stickers here. I think this is possibly one of my most favorite Scooby Doo items. I mean, nothing against the puzzle. If you guys don't know this, I have a puzzle of every single vi villain on it. 
I might show you guys. I might show you guys. I might show you guys right now. Actually. Yeah, like this is the yeah this is the, my favorite Scooby Doo item so far is this puzzle here. Um, it has I think this is possibly one of my most favorite items. That sticker book right there is probably gonna be my second favorite item because it has some of the villains in here. It has the same it's it has the same villains it has the same villains in here. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think both of these are my two favorite items. These and this in the sticker book so. This is probably my favorite two items. And I do know for a fact there is a puzzle. There is a puzzle with a... I do know there's a puzzle you can get that has this this design right here with these types of villains on here. I might... What I might do for a video, I might pick up two of these puzzles with the same puzzle. I could make one for you guys. And I could at least... And what I could do is I can keep one in box. Because I really do think it'd be nice. Also, this does the stickers do glow in the dark, though the puzzle don't. But I do think this is a pretty good item. So the next item we have here is where's it at? Okay, here we go. Next thing we got it is a keychain. So the keychain, and there's a there's another item I want to show you. So we have a, we have the mystery machine keychain right here, and it's actually from Spirit Halloween. So, if you guys want some good Scooby-Doo items, you can go to Spirit Halloween this year. I know you can actually ask for the display that they come with. I don't know if it's different this year, but yeah, this is one of the new items. But yeah, this is a pretty, it's a typical Scooby-Doo keychain. I might hang it up sometime. I might just hang, I might just hang up the keychain and the other item, because I have another item that kind of works with the lanyards. So, the next item we got here is, well, I don't know if I didn't mention this, but you guys know I'm trying to hunt for a Scooby-Doo launch fly bag. Found this. Yeah, so basically, it, it's a very small little Scooby-Doo mystery machine book bag. It has the gang on here. Uh, it kind of looks pretty cool, though. I know there's a launch fly bag that looks identical to the mystery machine. We have the mystery machine logo here. We got the back here. We have the, uh, the Scooby-Doo logo. And, and, and the same thing with the lanyard. You can hang this up. I don't know what you can do with this type of book bag, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, it does not glow in the dark, though. The keychain, the book bag, does not glow in the dark, as well as the other item I might show you. But, who knows? I don't know what am I going to do with this. I might just put some villains in here, like some very small villains. Next up we got is... Next up we got here is the... I don't know if you guys seen it or not, but this is one of their newest... Uh, so basically, Hot Wheels did another Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine, but this time's a lot different. They did, this is from the Racerverse, and it's basically Scooby-Doo inside the Mystery Machine. I might do a little unboxing of this. I might do a little unboxing of this little figure here, because I really think I really want to take a look at it. It looks, it looks pretty cool, though. I might unbox it, I might do a little short video unboxing this, but I do like the little backpack, though. But yeah, this was, I was able to find this. I know everyone's after this type of car, if you guys collect Scooby-Doo Hot Wheels, so they're probably, this is their newest haul. It looks pretty cool, though. It, it looks a lot different from their one they did before. But we have some other Scooby-Doo items. We have, we have two more Scooby-Doo items, and that's pretty much it. So the next thing I have is a, well, another hat. Um, I might show you guys a little bit. Next up we got is a glow-in-the-dark hat. And yes, it does glow in the dark. I think it does. Oh, it does. It does glow in the dark. Yeah, so basically we have... Yeah, so sorry about the little felt here. This is what you do for keeping the hat on. I might have to throw this out, actually. But yeah, this is the new hat. Um, yeah, so it has the, it has the logo here. They have the Scooby-Doo logo here. I think this hat was supposed to promote the new movie, the Scooby Doo Crypto movie. That movie ended up coming out last year. It's kind of weird how last year Scooby Doo didn't. There was no no new Scooby Doo stuff. I mean, not merchandise like TV shows or something. Because I know last year we had Velma, and God knows that TV show sucks. But 
But at least they're at least they're showing at least some merchants some of their new merchandise to pr the promo of the movie. I do actually we do have the Scooby Doo movie though Scooby Doo and Crypto Two, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the hat. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you take. So here it is. So here it is. So the, yeah, by the way, if you guys are wondering, I do have hair underneath here. So we have the new hat. Oh, oh okay. Oh, there's a bunch on here. I think there's a bunch you can jack. Oh, okay. There's some buns here. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna try to adjust this for a little bit. I do like the hat though. I do like the Scooby Doo logo here, the little SD logo, and the uh, there's a bunch of eyes here. Oh, this is the pretty good. I do like the little hats here. I do like the little buns here. Let me just adjust it a little bit. By the way, I do like these little hats. I do like the hats with the buns here. Like these little buns here. I think these are pretty good. Okay, there you go. I'm, I think I adjusted. Oh, this looks pretty cool, actually. It is a very nice hat, though. Um, I do know one thing is this does glow in the dark. I might post, maybe tonight I'll post a photo of all the items that do glow in the dark. And I might post them on my community tab and on Facebook. If you guys have been following me on Facebook, please, uh, I do have a Facebook if you guys want to follow that. But yeah, I will show you a photo of all the items that do glow in the dark. Not right now, but I might show you a photo. But yeah, this is the new the, this is the new hat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tags off. I do save the tags for these hats. So I'm also going to put the hats over here, like the... The hats you see right here. I'm going to put the new one on here. All the Scooby-Doo stat hats I do hang up, though. Um, I still, my favorite hat of all times is me wearing the Zoinks hat. And who knows? Maybe I might do a hat with my logo on it. If I end up doing make if I do end up making a hat with my own logo on it, I will do a video on that. But yeah, the, the hats I have up here, the ones I have up here is basically the Mystery Machine. Most of them has the Mystery Machine. But this is my favorite hat, is my Zoinks hat. But I just wanted to show you guys there for a little bit. But yeah, this hat's pretty cool though. I do like it. I think the eyes glow in the dark too. I might want to see that. But I do like the logo itself. It does have the little logo on here. Some of the hats don't show you that. They did have the logo for the Mystery Machine and that's pretty much it. But yeah. I might just wear this for the rest of the video. We only have one more item and that's in. So yeah, so this is their so this is their new sweatshirt. So I'm standing up right now to see it, but here it is. We got a Scooby Doo hoodie. It looks pretty cool though. It has the logo right here. It says glow in the dark, which kind of makes sense. We have the back here, we have some eyes. Same thing with the hat, it has eyes too. And it has Shaggy and Scooby on it. I did sell pajama pants at Spirit Halloween that had the gang on it, but it was $45. So, but, so yeah. Even, so I do like the hoodie though, I like the Scooby Doo hoodie. I'm gonna definitely wear it sometimes. Maybe I'll wear it up to camp. Because most of the long sleeves and hoodies I have, I have them up at camp right now. I might just wear it up at camp some time but i do like the hat i do like the hoodie though i do like the glow in the dark stuff i will post a photo i will post a photo of all the glow in the dark items though you might want i might show you guys a photo of them i might even post on my community tab if you guys want to see that but yeah that's pretty much it even though i do have a couple of new bendy items but i do like them i will be still on the hunt for those figures eventually because i'm still on the hunt for ink demon and twisted alice but if this, but I will do a Benny video for you guys. I will do the unbox, I'll do a review on the plushies. And I might do a little small unboxing of the Hot Wheels car. And that's pretty much it. So, again, if you guys want me to, if you, again, if you guys want me to unbox the, if you guys want me to take a review of, view of the plushies, um, make sure this video gets five likes. And comment down below what you guys think of the items. Um, I will use the hat and the sweatshirt eventually. But everything else will go in your correct throats. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the hat. So yeah, this is Toy Reviews signing off.